This is no shock that politicians running for office will sometimes say things behind the scenes that they don't say in front of, say, the TV cameras. Republican gubernatorial frontrunner Heidi Ganahl did not want to talk about election integrity when she announced her campaign in September. She did bring up the topic at an event on the Western Slope. It was recorded and shared with politics guy Mark Zizone. We're going to use this term that you're going to hear a lot now, tracker, video, and audio. That's when one party, in this case the Democrats, sends someone in to record the other party's candidate at a campaign event. I received tracker audio today from a Democratic source. It's audio from Ganahl at a Durango event one week before Thanksgiving. The audio was sent to me for a different reason than the section that actually stuck out, the part about election integrity. Trump took them off guard. He won by such a big margin that there was no way that they could make it fi fix it, right? And we've got to do that again in Colorado. We've got to have such a red tsunami that there's no question, there's no fixing it. When Heidi Ganahl announced she would run for the Republican gubernatorial nomination on September 14th, she did not want to talk about election integrity with me. As a Republican, as anybody, do you think there was fraud in the 2020 election? Again, why all the divisive questions? Let's talk about what unites Colorado. And what unites Colorado is that our kids are in trouble, crime is skyrocketing, the cost of living is out of control, small businesses are being shuttered. That's what the people of Colorado are focused on and what I want to focus on in my race. Since this interview, Ganahl's campaign spokeswoman tells me the campaign has seen no evidence of election fraud, but would like their supporters' complaints about it investigated. In her answer, you heard Ganahl mention kids, crime, and cost of living. At the November 18th Durango event that we received tracker audio from, Ganahl explained those are her talking points to win over unaffiliated voters. So you're going to see me talk about things that the unaffiliated voter cares about. And you might be like, Heidi, get by here. Talk about different you know, things that we care about. Y'all, I care about everything that you, you care about. You hear me talking here right now. But in the media and on my ads, I'm going to talk about crime and kids and the cost of living. Because that's gonna, what's going to win us the 7% of unaffiliated voters. We've got to be so disciplined about that. I talked with Ganahl's spokeswoman about Ganahl's red tsunami comment at the beginning of that. She told me the campaign is not saying voter integrity is not an issue. It is an issue. The intended message was that if you're concerned that there is not voter integrity, help the candidate, Ganahl, help her win by such a large margin that any concern is out of your mind. In other words, Kyle, for anyone concerned about voter integrity, mm -hmm. win big and it's not an issue. We know that that is a common talking point among folks on the right who are stoking these election rigging conspiracy theories that, well, unless we win in this enormous red tsunami, well, then the Democrats are just gonna come up with enough votes to rig it. I, don't, I guess here's my question. It would be good to know as the woman who wants to run our state, what she actually believes, not just, well, I'll tell these people this thing and I'll tell these people this thing and y'all can sort it out. What I got today is, Jerry Polis is the governor. Joe Biden is the president. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and I absolutely understand that that's like the talking point. It's also infuriating because I said to you earlier today, like this whole Joe Biden is the president as if that sells it. Like Saddam Hussein was, was president. You know what I mean? Like Robert Mugabe uh, led Zimbabwe, but like they didn't have clean elections. The, the question that people want to know is, does Colorado have clean elections? Do They've seen no direct evidence, Ganahl's campaign, they have seen no direct evidence, but they want people who complain about it. Uh -huh. They want those claims investigated. And I'm struggling with it. You, I feel like you need to take one or the other. And, and I'm not there yet with this. Yeah, because as we try to point out, it's not a joke. If our elections are rigged, it's the biggest story in the history of ever. And if this is a lie made up to get people afraid and giving money, it's a big story. Marshall, thank you.